All right, so in a previous video, we submitted a PAR on behalf of a soldier. It's very similar to the process of submitting a PAR for yourself as a soldier. The difference is the available menu of what can be submitted. And again, I refer you to table 7.2 of the uh, IPSE user guide version 2.0 that lists all of the available PARs in IPSE, uh, who can submit them and sort of what they do. And that PAR, once it was submitted, went to the S1 pool. And the S1 pool is the IPSE inbox, if you will, uh, for all PARs and various other actions that come through IPSE. And so now we are currently logged in as a Battalion S1 HR Pro, and we're going to uh, review this PAR and submit a workflow to push it through completion. So if you look in the top right-hand corner here, we've got a little notification. And when we click on that, we see that a Qualifications for Skills PAR was submitted on Sergeant Fer Ferrer um, by PFC Jacori, who we know is the Alpha Troop clerk, right? The Alpha Troop uh, HR Pro. So uh, there's two ways we can get there. The quickest way is just, just click on this link and it will take us to the PAR to do our part. As the screen comes up, we can see that the PAR is available um, for us to do a few things. So uh, the, the, the first thing that we, we want to look at is, you know, what is the PAR? Uh, we see the effective date. It's a request for an ASIF2 Bravo. We can see that there are attachments if we click on this attachment, um, this attachment menu here, we can see that there is a, a document. We can click on the hyperlink and see the document. We can also add another attachment as the, the S1. So if you know, we could reach out to the company and say, hey, you forgot to attach some other file to go with this PAR, we could ask for that and they would they could email it to us or whatever, and we could just attach it rather than kick the whole thing back. So after looking at this PAR, we realize it's ready to go. We just need to inf insert the workflow template. And so again, we made a, a video about workflow templates and how to make them. And now we're gonna see how to in insert a workflow template into a PAR as an S1 HR Pro. So we'll click on the approval chain down here. And we can see that currently it's waiting S1 pool approval or recommendation of approval. So if we click on that, we'll see that all of these people are in the S1 pool. So any one of these individuals, well, all of them got that notification. Whoever kind of clicks on it first is the one that will action it, okay? So what we'll do here is we'll click on insert template and we will go find our template. So we're gonna cl click on active component and then we're gonna click on the template ID and we're going to scroll down all the way to the bottom because that's where ours just happens to be. And we're gonna, slick, uh, we're gonna select alpha 57 calf part or, and that's just my, my mistake. I didn't name it correctly. I was in a rush. And again, I, I, I talk about naming conventions of workflows and UDLs in that video. It's a good video, check it out. So here we've selected the workflow we wanna insert and we're gonna just, and here's the name of it here, okay? And we're gonna insert it into the workflow. So now you'll see that it is pending uh, review by the company commander and the battalion commander. Now, <clears throat> This workflow is just going to go from company commander to the battalion commander, but your workflow can have first sergeant, commander, XO, sergeant major. Uh, you can insert the S1 UDL in there to sort of uh, make sure that the action has been signed off correctly and, and so on. So your workflow can be as long or short as you want it. That's going to be based upon your unit preference and unit policy. But for this exercise, we're just going to have it go from, uh, from commander to commander. So now that we've inserted the workflow, we're gonna go ahead and close this. And now we're ready to hit recommend approval. So we will hit recommend approval. So we'll put in some comments so that the individuals who are gonna see this know what's going on. Sir or ma'am, par for Sergeant Ferrer is ready for your approval. Requesting ASI to Bravo for completion of air assault school. Air respectfully, Corporal, what's his name? So now we're going to hit submit, and the PAR is on its way. And there it is. So that's as easy as it is. 
to insert a workflow to a PAR that you've received as an S1 and move it forward for completion. So be sure to stay tuned. We're gonna make another video here shortly about how to uh, sign off on a PAR as a commander or manager or basically anyone in the, in the routing chain. Uh, what we'll do is we'll log in as the company commander, we'll sign off as an intermediate approver, and then we'll make another uh, attempt to sign in as the commander and approve it. So company commander and battalion commander. Uh, be sure to click the subscribe button, stay tuned for more IPSA videos. We're on Facebook and Twitter, follow along, leave us some comments, let us know how we're doing, what you think, give us some ideas for some more IPSA videos from the field. We're also looking for non-HR people, so commanders, soldiers, leaders, anyone who's going to be involved in using IPSE, what kind of videos would you like to see to help you um, prepare for the release of IPSE in September of 2022? Otherwise, defend and serve.